How Calm Your Mind Once upon a time, Buddha was traveling with his disciples. They saw a lake that supplied water to the nearby villages. It was summer and it's a hot day and Buddha was feeling thirsty. He asked one of his disciples to fetch water from the lake. When the disciple reached the lake, he noticed that the water is not good. Because a bullock cart has just crossed the lake and water has become very muddy and not good to drink. Finding the water unfit for drinking, he walked back and suggested to Buddha to move to the next available water body. Surprisingly, Buddha asked the group to stay put and asked the same disciple to fetch water from the same lake in an hour. The disciple obediently went back after an hour. This time also, he found that the waters were muddy, though a lot less than earlier. Buddha asked him to go back in another hour. The third time, the disciple found that the mud had settled down and the water was clear enough to be used for drinking. He collected some water in a pot and gave it to Buddha. Buddha looked at the water and said, How did you solve the challenge of cleaning the muddy waters? By doing nothing, you let it be. With time, the mud settled down on its own, and you got clear water. Our mind works in exactly the same way. A disturbed mind is the same as the muddy waters. To solve the problem of a disturbed mind, you do nothing, you let it be. With time, the disturbances will settle down on their own, and you will get clear and calm mind. The process of calming the mind is effortless. This small story has a lot of learnings that can solve a great degree of challenges we face in our lives. The lake naturally had sediments at the bottom. The water got muddy when these sediments got mixed with the water due to a routine episode, bullet cart movement. Every mind has thoughts. It is natural and normal for the mind to be disturbed due to episodes of life that unsettle these thoughts. When the water is muddy, it is unsuitable for consumption. When in a disturbed state, the mind is unsuitable for usage. Clearing and calming a disturbed mind is like clearing the muddy waters, you do nothing. In any disturbed state, just allow the mind to settle down by itself. When the water was muddy, Buddha didn't react instantly. Had Buddha reacted to the muddy waters, he would have lost the chance to drink the water. When you find yours or others mind disturbed, don't react instantly or impulsively. Reacting to a disturbed mind is like throwing stones in muddy waters. It muddies the water even more. Even the muddiest waters get clear with time. Even the most disturbed mind can return to a calm state with time. The muddy water wasn't the real problem. The real challenge was to show patience long enough for the mud to settle down and the water to get clear. A disturbed mind is never the real problem. The real challenge is to show patience long enough for the thoughts and disturbances to settle down and the mind to get clear. A situation is never pleasant or unpleasant by itself, the mind state makes it so. Do you relate to these points? Please leave your comments in the comments box below so that I can learn from your experience.